Hello YouTube world, pretend farmer here. Not a real farmer, just pretending. We've got rare footage of me holding my rooster, Bucky, here, and we're gonna have a little discussion about roosters because one of my subscribers has just got a surprise roo in an order of chicks that he's been raising up, and he realized one of them is not actually a pullet, it's a cockerel. So now he's trying to figure out how well is his roosters gonna get along if he's got more than one. Well, we aim to answer that question today, don't we, Bucky? Now, for those of you that watch my channel, you know Colonel Sanders here is my younger rooster that I've just introduced into the flock several months ago. Him and Bucky's been living together in the same coop with the same hens for quite a while now, and it's going good. You're a friendly rooster. There you go. <laughs> now in general there's three criteria that need to be met in order for roosters to happily live together under the same roof or in the same coop for starters, you gotta have the proper number of hen. Each rooster has to have his own ladies or there's gonna be trouble. There's gonna be fighting. The only exception to this is if you have a bachelor coop, which is just a coop full of nothing but roosters. If there are absolutely no hens around and it's just roosters, they can generally live together in harmony. They might spar a little bit, but it won't be a complete bloodbath. Now you throw a couple hens in the mix, it's gonna be a nightmare. Roosters have to have enough hens to keep themselves happy or else they'll fight. In general, eight to 10 hens per rooster as a minimum. The second thing they need is space. You've gotta have a coop and a run big enough to accommodate two roosters so that they can kinda of social distance. Now if you free range your chickens, this is great because that eliminates that problem altogether. In a yard like this, we've got over three acres and they can go wherever they please. So it works out good. If you're planning on confining two roosters in like a small five by seven run or something, expect to have problems. That's not gonna work well. The third important criteria for roosters to be able to live together is familiarity. In general, you never wanna take a fully matured adult rooster and throw him into a flock with another established adult rooster. You're looking for a cockfight there. They're gonna fight to the death probably, and it's gonna be a big mess. You can never really introduce a mature rooster to live with another mature rooster. But if you hatch out an egg or you buy a cockerel and raise it up in the flock along with the mature rooster, over time the pecking order will be established and they will learn to adapt and live together as that cockerel raises up into a mature rooster. In this case, it can and will work and our farm here is proof of it. We've got Colonel Sanders who came in a straight run of Buff Orpingtons back last year. And then we have Bucky who is our rooster we've had for well over a year now. He's the dominant rooster. Colonel Sanders takes more of the subordinate role. And Colonel Sanders was raised up from a cockerel, small enough to fit in my hand, all the way up to the size that he is now. Now his spurs are about three quarters of an inch long. He's not a fully matured rooster yet, but he's over a year old, so he's what I consider to be an adult rooster. And everybody seems to be getting along fine. I'm gonna show you some footage here as a special request from one of my subscribers who was asking how well are my roosters getting along still. Let's go take a look and see how they're doing.
Yeah. So yes, you can have two roosters living together under the same roof. And this happens to everybody if you farm chickens long enough and you buy enough chicks. Eventually you're going to get a, a batch of pullets and there's going to end up being a surprise cockerel in there. You'll notice one of them looks a little different. A couple weeks go by, maybe even a month or two. And then the next thing you know, you got one that's out there cock a doodle -dooing. Hatcheries make mistakes sometimes. They don't quite get them sexed right. And you'll end up getting a mystery chick that ends up being a rooster. So if you've already got a rooster and you're trying to decide, well, should I keep this unplanned rooster since I've already got one or not? That was essentially the boat we were in here on the pretend farm. And we ended up saying, we're going to try and keep them, see if they can live together under the same roof. And as you can see here, it's working out good. This is the pretend farmer wishing you the best of luck with your surprise roosters. And if you have any other questions or comments about how our roosters are living together here, let us know. Drop a comment. Also, be sure and subscribe to this channel because we got more videos coming up about chickens. You're not going to want to miss them. Till next time, this is the Pretend Farmer signing out.